Don't underestimate the impact which bespoke packaging can have on the success of your clothing brand. It's a great way to add value and really delight your customers, but it doesn't have to be either difficult or expensive. I'm gonna talk you through each of the individual elements of my own clothing brand, and by the end of the video, you'll have some great ideas on how you can elevate your own packaging for your own clothing brand. Let's do it. Okay, so the first thing to say is that I buy my t-shirts wholesale and I also print everything myself. And because of that, what I do is I remove all of the internal care labels um, like this. And there's also a size label in the top there and I remove that. Sometimes they come out very cleanly. Other times you have to get the tweezers to remove the last little bits. And then, as you can see, I print a neck label with all the uh, care instructions on and obviously it allows me to, to brand the t-shirts as well. So having removed the internal manufacturer's labels, whilst it's not strictly speaking packaging, the next thing that we do is we sew on a woven label. Uh, this is a recycled polyester label. Uh, we're a sustainable cycling apparel brand, so everything that we do has a sustainable element to it. If you're interested in seeing how we do this, uh, there is another video, the link is above, feel free to check that out. Because we've removed all the internal labels and we don't want to add plastic tags, what this woven label allows us to do is thread through some organic cotton and attached to that is a two-piece hang tag. Again, it's made from recycled material, craft. It's a great way to communicate your brand values and add value to the whole product. Okay, so as you'll have seen before, I use a box or a series of different size boxes depending upon the garments I'm shipping. And because of that, it obviously allows me to print uh, and add some branding on both the outer and the inner, which you'll see in a moment. But it also allows me to know the exact dimensions that I should be folding the t-shirt to. And because of that, I've created this very simple template, a piece of card, which I fold the t-shirt around and it, it allows me to get the exact um, fit every time. I'll show you how I do that. Okay, so the t-shirts face down, I place this in a central position, fold each side over, straighten the sleeves out. I fold from the bottom, took the hang tag in, fold from the bottom once, twice, and then to the top, and there we have folded T. Okay, so once we've folded the T, to give that extra element of protection and a more luxurious feel, we wrap all of our t-shirts in tissue paper, it gives that sort of more of a gifting experience, and again, it's another way of adding value. Um, obviously, I think the industry norm is around using poly mailers. It's obviously very simple. You can obviously um, get custom poly mailers made too, but ultimately it's just killing the environment and we don't want to do that. You know, the brand stands for something a bit different. Yours might not. Um, just something for you to consider based upon what your customer wants and expects. So as you can see, we've gone with craft again, just keeping everything consistent, giving it that real sort of raw, natural feel. We did look at printing bespoke custom tissue paper. It's, it's very possible to do that, but we couldn't justify, or I couldn't justify the spend early on, but it's definitely something that we want to do in future. So it is quite time consuming wrapping these, but we think it's worth it. We are looking at plant-based alternative plastics, but it's not clear cut just how good they are for the environment but this is a 99% recycled material, so it works for us. So I'll just show you how I wrap this up now. Okay, so once we've got that nicely wrapped, it's just a case of applying, again, another craft label with the logo icon on. Make sure that's nice and centered. Pop that on there. With a nice parcel ready for the customer to open. And if it's been done correctly, it should just slot nicely into the box there. Okay, so by this time you've got a nicely finished product in the box, ready for the customer. But what can you do to take it to that next level? I'll show you exactly what I do. Okay, so the first thing I recommend considering is including some sort of card inviting the customer to share their feedback. In this case, we've got a very simple 
A4 business type card with a QR code that links through to the Trustpilot website in order that they can leave a review. If the customer then goes on to leave a review, one of the things that we also do is reward them with a, a percentage off their next order. Again, just another great way of building loyalty and relationship with the customer. On the other side of this, we have uh, an invite for the customer to uh, throw their t-shirt or garment on and share it on um, Instagram or Facebook. In that way, that we obviously hope that we can generate some, some user-generated content, which is obviously really, really valuable. And we've, have, we've had some great success with that. So that goes into the box. One of the things that we also put in is a printed bookmark. It's uh, finished here with a used inner tube from a bike, obviously suitable for uh, the VeloKind cycling apparel brand. Uh, and we use a bookmark, just something a bit different to put in plastic stickers in. Again, just more closely aligned with our customer and our customer's values. That goes in as well. Important as well is a packing slip, which we print directly from the Shopify backend. This just gives the order number should the customer need to return uh, or exchange anything. And it's just an opportunity for us to write a little message of thanks to the customer as well. Again, really just trying to personalize everything about the experience for the customer. Uh, we do this on A5, you know, just to save a bit of, uh, a bit of paper really. There's no need to print it on A4. It, it's sufficient to have A5. That all then goes into, again, another craft material. This is a craft envelope, which we've printed ourselves by hand. So what we would do is just put all that together and slot it in the envelope. And then we'd simply place that on top and that'd be the first thing that the customer would see when they open the box. Now, I think it's really important that you create an unboxing experience for the customer. and you know, really consider every single element of what goes into your finished product and packaging. I just wanna draw your attention to this here. You know, once the customer has opened up the box, it allows us to communicate directly with the customer here. It says, you've worked hard, here's a little something for your rest days. Rest days just to play on one of the cycling, one of the terms from the cycling um, community and and then really because we print our own packaging, it allows us to go the step further. So once the customer has lifted the product out, there's another little secret sort of message there communicating directly with them. And it just shows that, you know, love and care that's gone into each, each package. I should say as well that, you know, just because we print these ourselves doesn't mean that you can't have this manufactured and printed yourself. There are, you know, many manufacturers and suppliers out there who will gladly quote uh, this for you obviously um, easy enough to print on the front of the box uh, the more surfaces that you print on the more it's going to cost you but you know it's very worth looking into if you can't stretch to that then I would recommend that you look at a stamp you know it's relatively cheap to get a stamp created designed to your own logo and if nothing else you can certainly stamp and brand the outside of the box so that's something that I would really recommend you do. I think it gives a really professional finish. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you're enjoying this and getting a lot of value, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. Let's move on to the final pieces. Okay, so we're getting quite close to a finished product now, but what I really want you to consider are the final finishing touches. Don't neglect these. Okay, so the first of those is if you're using tape at all, don't use plastic tape. There's really no excuse for using plastic tape in this day and age. There are paper-based alternatives that are equally effective, even for very heavy, robust products. For So for shipping apparel, there's no need to use this. So I mentioned before that we couldn't stretch to bespoke printed tissue paper, but we could justify spend on bespoke tape, and I'd highly recommend that you look into this. Let's see how we apply it to the box. You know, so as with everything I'm trying to do here, nothing is really left to chance. So I've had this tape designed in order that it fits perfectly um, on the box in order that we get a run of three logos running across the box. So I'm not having to cut halfway through a logo. It's, you know, applies very neatly. Um, and again, it's just that nice finishing touch that makes all the difference. Okay, so the final step, 
but really, really important one. You're more than likely going to be applying a thermal shipping label to either your box, your envelope or your poly mailer. Don't just stick the label on without any thought. At least apply the thing squarely as, as best you can. Doing so shows some respect for your customer uh, and it really is not difficult to do. So there we have it, the finished package. I really hope you enjoyed the video and it's given you some great ideas for your own clothing brand. I really do believe that it's the small details that make all the difference. Good luck. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers guys.